Hey, Andy, can I ask you for a favor? Can you buy some adult diapers for your dad on the way home? Ugh, why do I have to do that? You go and buy them. I can't leave the house today. Your dad is sick right now. Plus, your mother asked me to sort out the garage. I don't want to buy them. Buying adult diapers is embarrassing. Oh, come on, don't say that. There's not enough in the house, so please buy some. It must be fine for you to leave the house for at least a bit. Don't worry about my parents. It's not like they've gone senile or anything. It doesn't take long to run out to the store, so they'll be fine in that time. I would normally go by myself, but I can't leave your dad alone this time. Just before, he was trying to drink some water, and it went down the wrong way, and he started choking. Luckily, I was there, but if it happens again, it could be serious. Then why don't you just get them delivered? And pay for the delivery fees? The diapers themselves are already expensive enough as it is. We're already basically paycheck to paycheck, so I want to buy them as cheap as possible. Why didn't you just buy a bunch and keep them in the house? Well, he uses more of them than you'd expect, especially now that he's sick and has an upset stomach. He was throwing up yesterday, right? Well, he threw up on the stock of diapers and ruined half of them. They're unusable now. Then how about you ask someone else to go get them? Someone else? Like who? You could think about that. Surely there's someone you know who lives nearby. Why don't you just buy them yourself? Then the problem solved. Why are you being so difficult about this? It's not embarrassing at all. I don't want the cashier to think that I'm the one who has to use adult diapers. No one's gonna think that. How do you know that? There's no way I'm going to get them. Don't expect them from me on the way home. Fine, then when you get home, I'll go buy them. That way, you'll be there to look after your parents while I'm out of the house. What? I'll be tired after work. They're your own parents. Look after them for at least a little bit. Shut up. I don't care. As soon as I get home, you better have some food ready. Surely you can wait at least a little after you get back? What's the point of you being a stay-at-home wife then? Why are you so bad at taking care of the home? Hey, I'm taking care of your parents too. So what? Looking after them, the housework, cooking, that's all work for the wife to do. I work outside of the house. You work inside it. Both just need to do what we're supposed to. But there's no break from the nursing and the housework. It's day in, day out. Having to leave the house and work with strangers all day is far more mentally tiring than that. Just having to do some chores and look after my parents, that's easy. I didn't really want to say this, but your parents are kind of selfish. Or for whatever other reason, they're really strict with me. Having to look after them when they act like that, it makes it much harder. Oh, so you're trying to say that you have it harder? No, that's not what I mean. I just want you to understand that I'm also at my limit right now. Is that so? Whatever. Gotta go back to work. What about the diapers? Come on, Andy, I'm asking you, so please just go buy them. If not, I'll have to go before I make you dinner. You're so stubborn! Anyway, I decided to go out drinking tonight. Don't expect me to buy them. I'll be home late anyway. Hey, Andy, can you come home early today? No, I can't. Do you need to work overtime? I'm going drinking with a client. Going drinking again? This is also one part of my job, you know. You go out all weekend. And you've started drinking each weekday after work, too. Do you really expect me to do absolutely everything for your parents on my own? That's your job, isn't it? Take responsibility for what you're supposed to do. And by the way, the house has been really messy recently. And you've been making less food. Stop being so lazy with your duties. I can't do anything properly when I'm caring for your parents all day. Don't blame this on my parents. Who do you think is the one putting the food on the table? I didn't like the way you said that. I'm just speaking the truth. You've really changed since we got married, haven't you? You've become really cold. Don't compare now to when we were dating. I knew that I'd have to look after your parents before we got married, but you also promised you would help. But you don't do anything. I'm busy. You're just going out all of the time. Last time I washed your suit, a whole bunch of business cards from bars were in the pocket too, even though I'm doing the best I can to save money day to day. Do you really have money to go out drinking like that? I'm not paying for my drinks. They're paid by someone else. I'm not spending our money on it. 
Oh, really? Something wrong? Whatever. I don't care anymore. I wanted to talk to you about it at home, in person, but I'll just tell you now. Your mother was diagnosed with dementia. What? Dementia? Like she's gonna start forgetting everything and go senile? Basically. Seriously? I figured it happened sooner or later, and I guess it was sooner than I expected. Maybe that's true. But I want you to think about putting her in an aged care facility. It can't be that bad right now, so we can wait for now and keep her at home. But we don't know how fast the dementia will progress, and it's not that easy to find a place in a home for her. We'll have to wait for a place, most likely. There's a lot to research and sort out in order to get her a place, so we should do that as soon as possible. I said it's fine. This year, just look after her at home. We'll think about putting her in a home next year. It's really difficult to look after someone with dementia. Well, you've got experience with that, right? Your grandmother also had dementia, didn't she? Yeah, she did. That's exactly why I'm telling you that it's better to put her in a home. I'm relying on your nursing skills. That's also one of the reasons I decided to marry you. What? You chose to marry me based on that? No, it wasn't just that. It was a big part of it, though. We got married pretty late, so it's natural to think about that, right? That may be the case, but I really didn't want to know that. Oh, really? I'd say that's something to be proud of, though. Andy, I'm going to be clear with you right now. I have no intention of looking after your mother with dementia. What are you talking about? I won't allow you not to. Your mother has been getting really aggressive recently. She's always abusing me verbally and pinching me. She even started throwing things at me. Come on, she's an old woman. How strong can she be? <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. She's much stronger than you think, Andy. Look, if you have time to complain like this, why don't you go clean the house? Complaining without actually doing anything is something only lowlifes do, right? That's what I've been saying about the housework recently. Isn't it all a little half-assed? How could you say something like that? I am doing absolutely everything I can! Like what? I'm saying this exactly because you're not doing what you're supposed to. Now hurry up and do the housework. Having to care for my parents isn't an excuse to get out of that. Oi, where are you? I finally come home early and you're not around. Not even looking after my parents. Where'd you go? As if you care. What's with that attitude? My parents are yelling about something. Just hurry up and come back. And what about food? It looks like you haven't made anything. There's cup noodles on the table. Why don't you eat that? Watch it. Quit messing around. You really think it's fine to give your husband cup noodles for dinner? Don't think you'll get off easy if you do this again. Just hurry up and get back here. My parents are calling you, so come quiet them down. Asking me to come back? What, you haven't realized yet? What are you on about? There's something else on the table, right? The green document? What? Divorce papers? What the hell is this? Are you trying to tell me you want a divorce? Yep, I can't live with you like this anymore. Who's gonna take care of my parents? <sighs> like I care. They're not my parents. After we get divorced, they're just complete strangers to me. We're not divorced yet. But we will be. If you don't sign the papers, I'll get the courts involved for a mediated divorce. You have one week. You think you can decide on divorce in just one week? Fine, I'll go through the courts. I never want to live with you ever again. I'm leaving. What? Who do you think has been providing for you all this time? What, for like a couple of years? We got married quite late, and I've been doing all the housework and looking after your parents. Who do you think has been making everything work? Don't love housework in with real work. Both are work. Do you want to try to calculate which one of us actually worked more? My parents are calling you. I don't plan on coming back. What, you're just gonna leave two elderly people who need care and go? Oh, the people who have been abusing me even though I took care of them? I don't feel anything at all about leaving them. In fact, I want some thanks for all the time I spent caring for them up until now. You're the worst, even though we've lived together until now. 
Don't you feel anything at all? If I did, I wouldn't have left. You know that getting divorced at your age is the end for you, right? Who do you think is going to want some old woman who can't even be a proper housewife? I don't plan on relying on someone else. Fine, let's get divorced. You useless hag. And don't crawl back here crying either. Andy, it's been a week already. Have you signed the divorce papers? Karen, can you give me a little more time? More time? The divorce is decided already. All you need to do is sign the paper. Once you've done that, I'll come pick it up and submit it. There's nothing else you need to do. How we split the assets will be taken care of by the lawyer. Don't you want to rethink the divorce? Huh? Last week you said you'd sign the papers, right? I realize how difficult it is to look after my parents. I've changed my mind. Now that I'm by myself, I finally understand how much hard work you were going through. This is nothing like what I had to do when I was single. That was more just like helping them, not taking care of everything. Well, it's been a few years since we got married. Looking after them was always going to get more demanding. Man, they're both really selfish too, aren't they? If the diapers aren't a specific brand, they won't even put them on. It's hard to get them in the bath too. They can't move on their own that much, but man, do they still know how to talk. Look, I'm really sorry. I really put you through a lot. It doesn't matter if you apologize, it's too late. I promise that I'll help you look after them from now on. I definitely won't leave it all to you. So please, just come back. No. Please, I'm begging you. At this rate, I can't even go to work anymore. I've been using my paid leave since you left, but that won't last forever. This is impossible on my own. So why don't you put them in a home? You're the one who said that we can't get a spot for them straight away. I told you that we should look for one, but you stopped me. You're the one who left everything up to me and made me leave. You're the reason it was so difficult to look after your parents. You didn't do anything at all to help me. It is your fault. I know that. That's why I'm apologizing. I really realize my mistakes. Nursing old people really isn't something one person can do. I'll make sure to make preparations for putting them in a home. So please, come back. Let's just give it another shot. Look, I didn't leave because of your parents. I left because of your attitude and the way you spoke to me. I couldn't stand it. You left everything to me and did nothing yourself. All you did was go out drinking and spending money all the time. You barely even gave me enough to get by each day. And despite the fact I had my hands full with your parents, you told me that I better not slack off on the rest of the housework. So how is it doing everything by yourself? Do you have time to get to all the chores? I'm sorry. My feelings for you kept getting weaker and weaker. Now there's nothing left. It's at the point where even the good times we had together are stained by how bad you made me feel. I can't think of anything except divorcing you. You're right. I've been acting really badly towards you recently. But I promise, I'll treat you much better from now on. Just like when we just got married, I'll treat you really special. This coming from the person who became cold and distant as soon as we got married? I lied to myself and tried to keep our married life going. But even then, you told me that you married me just because I had some experience looking after the elderly. That was your plan the whole time, wasn't it? Marry me and force me to look after your parents instead of you. You're wrong! I promise, that's not the case! Then why did you marry me? Because I happened to have saved a bunch of money while I was single? Because you thought I was just some discarded woman that would do whatever you said for a chance to get married? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I promise I'll change. Just don't leave me. Come back to me. Karen, please. I can't trust even a single word you say. Everything you say and do is just an act. Remember, I'm just some useless old woman, right? I can't be of any use to you, right? I was wrong. I'm the useless one. I'm really, really sorry. I was wrong. Please forgive me. If you've got the time to send me these texts, why don't you use that to do the housework? Go ahead, you can make time for everything. That's what you said, right? Don't think I'll forgive you for saying all of those things to me when I complained about needing help. 
Even if you count crying, I'll never help you ever again. Since then, I got ready to take the divorce to court. But my husband contacted me and told me that he signed the papers. And I was able to get the divorce without any problems. He must have finally realized that no matter what he said, I wasn't coming back. The assets were split between us and I was finally able to get away from that family. I felt so relieved. After that, my ex-husband apparently looked for a nursing home and even hired an in-house nurse. But he still had to continue to look after his parents once he came home from work. And the stress took its toll and he ended up collapsing and being taken to the hospital. He only contacted me one time to ask me to bring him some things while he was in the hospital. But I pretended not to see it and didn't reply. Once, about a year after the divorce, I walked by his house where I used to live. The front lawn was completely overgrown and the house gave off a sense that no one lived there at all. I have no idea what my ex and my former in-laws are doing now. But since whatever they may be doing has nothing to do with me, I don't care to even find out. After the divorce, I went back to live with my parents and recover from the stress that built up while I was married. Now, I'm working at a company started by one of my superiors from a company I used to work at. Although it's busy, each day feels full and I am satisfied. If I hadn't divorced my husband, there's no way I'd be able to live such a carefree daily life. I'm scared to think of what would have happened if I had remained living as I was. My ex-husband never wanted to spend money on care for his parents or for anything we might need in the house. I'd probably be looking after them in those miserable circumstances until they passed away. I'm really happy with how things are now, and from now on, I'm going to focus on caring about my family and those around me who care about me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.